The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Hmm. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just whatever's done not even matter anymore. I'm, um, yeah. I guess I should go find Paul. Good morning. Yeah. I doubt he's out here. We better head into the campus. Whatever you want. I don't have the time. Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. That's vaguely ominous.
Some protest. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or well, maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. You see, Monarch wants to knock down the old campus library and put up a brand new building. Protesters are saying that building's a part of our heritage, and we don't need Monarch gobbling up yet another bit of river part. Personally, I'm with the activists on this one. I'm sure Monarch's new building would be big and shiny, but well, come on, who gives a shit? I love that old library, even if it is kind of falling apart. I like things with character. And Monarch, hell, <laughs> they've got all the character of a brand new smartphone. Sure, call me a hipster, whatever. I just think you don't have to be a smug douchebag with organic sneakers and an ironic NASCAR cap to prefer a nice corner restaurant with personality to yet another Olive Garden, you know? Still, much as it pains me to say this, I think this is a done deal. Monarch's gonna take that library down tomorrow no matter what we say. Might as well pack it up and go home and get ready for the next fight. Cause you know, they aren't done with our town yet, right? Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students.
If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. have two faces. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of the universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean. Alright, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage, and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. 
Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but I keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. Head home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell out security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Liam Burke, a Monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Exactly. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Incident? Jesus, Will. What did you do this time? Yo, Paul. You think you got enough space here? Well, you know, us business types need somewhere to practice our putting. Hey, how much did you pay them to put this on display when I got here? Even I'm not that tacky. I promise, what I'm about to show you is far more exciting than the lobby. That will be for me to decide. In here, Jack. Going up. This is 
quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. Hey, Jack. Over here. Come on. Going up. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought that kind of trouble was your forte. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold out. Oh, I don't know. Rich and successful isn't too bad. You should give it a try. Let's take the elevator, Jack. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist, progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now. I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. The city had changed. Paul changed. It didn't feel right being back. It was your hometown. In six years, you never felt any desire to return? There was always more keeping me away. some budget what is all this the future Jack you are looking at the biggest discovery of our time it's impressive but wills the scientist what do you need me for 
There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. Where does this airlock lead? A better question might be, when does it lead? <laughs> well, that's deep. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. <laughs> That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. 
Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. And this can't be safe. What happens when- Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? How? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible, that's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. We have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what?
You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Will. right all this time I want Paul this could all have been avoided but too late Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, I know it's fucked up, but we have to go. Burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it. it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. I'll try to explain, but we have to go. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. Uh, what? Well, locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah! That didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. Warn Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, 
A gun. A universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of You. Hold up. We are on this side. Okay. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to take the service This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? Is your biggest concern right now? Back up's on route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. in time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door. Than you. What's their chopper waiting for? I saw that guy earlier. But he's part of this. Maybe even leading it. You're the one with the door busting skills. Will, get down! Oh god! Target's armed! Opening fire! Get him down! Get out! Jesus! Go, go, go! Get him free! Put down the gun, Joyce! Stop no, no, fucking shooting at us! God damn it! Will, are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I've been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Paul was positive that the experiment would work. That the figures were correct. Because his specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. Let's get out of here. Not good. This is not good. There's the elevator. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. You guys are wearing monarch uniforms. Monarch? Why the hell is monarch firing at us? You kill me! Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team, have Jack and William Jones been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out.
Jack. Elevator. Let's hurry. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture, I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. No, my car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh, God, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. were growing. 
started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Laura, Neutron, or some shit. It's supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back. I swear to God. Jack 
Joyce. Where is he? Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. Look, just shut the fuck up, all right? Boss said to take him to the library. Wants to deal with this one first. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. This was supposed to be a quiet operation. We got what we came for. Yeah. Let's see the media shitstorm that follows us. Hey! It's all being taken care of! Join!
got to get to the library. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come from? Looks like a way up. Come on, I don't have time for this. I gotta slow that thing down somehow. going on around here. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Monarch brother is. Who is this guy? 
fine, all right. You're fine. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need the... Ugh. Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the practice. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need explaining. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time from up to Take us alive. I think they changed their minds. Circle around. She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets for you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. My name is Paul Serene. 
I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Sir. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose Mr. ends. Serene? Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages, the location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time, the location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Paul, we need your decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. My powers grew stronger even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a statement. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! 
There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up.